Hey, guess what I got a tour of this week? Take a guess. Take a guess. <laughs> I went to Google. I got to go to the Google headquarters down in Mountain View and my friend Satoi who works at YouTube was able to show me around and oh my god it was incredible. that The Google campus is unlike anything you can imagine. I don't know how many buildings it's made up of but it's bigger than any university campus you can imagine and yet it's it's kind of like a university campus really because there's so many people just walking around and on bikes they have these google bikes you know that are the multicolored <laughs> google colors and so if you need to get from one building to another you can just grab any of those bikes and just just go and just leave it and then the next person can, can use it the food is legendary at google i mean they have all the food is free for all the employees there anytime you want to eat just eat and it's not just food, it's like they have, well, lots of places to eat. The main cafeteria there, which is enormous because they have all these different types of food, depending on what you're in the mood for, all prepared by you know, gourmet chefs and it's a rotating menu every day. It's kind of strange going into a cafeteria but having no cashiers or anything, but it was an incredible experience. Wyatt went with me down there. We got to see the, the Google street view car you know one of the cars that has the cameras on it that was that was pretty cool and we got to see the autonomous car the car that drives by itself it was just driving down the street and we're like oh yeah there's the car thanks again satoi for showing us around this week's project just a the sushi tree i had a lot of stuff i wanted to pack into that video first we did the collaboration with alex that was a lot of fun i we did a collaboration before we done one or two collaborations alex i think this is our third one but maybe it's just our second one i know we did a we did an April Fool's one a few years ago. <laughs> Alex used to be the teen woodworker. Now he's the man woodworker. <laughs> the man. Alex has been making videos a long time and it's really been fun kind of seeing how he's grown and now his woodworking skills are incredible, really. We do want you guys to participate in that challenge. I think it would be fun, you know, just think about your hometown or if you don't like your hometown, think about your home state <laughs> or, or even your country, you know. Um, think about what it means to you and then try to really think about something to build that represents that and I just think it's an interesting challenge and when you do that take a picture of it post it over on my Facebook page Twitter Pinterest and wherever you want and shoot a video of it or shoot a video of it if you like and post it on YouTube now about my project this itself the most challenging part was actually making the chopsticks I really kind of struggled over how I was going to do that and it was the very last thing I made on the project because I kept thinking how I wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to make Japanese style chopsticks which are generally shorter than Chinese chopsticks and they don't have the blunt ends. They come to more of a sharp taper. I don't know if I really succeeded in doing that exactly but they work. I often find myself trying to overthink how to do things and I really was thinking of some sort of tapering jig for small parts and how I would clamp it down and how could I make those even tapers and all this stuff. And then finally I just thought, you know, why don't I just just cut it out on the bandsaw, just freehand, use a template. And it worked out really well, you know. They're not perfect, but it's okay. Don't forget you could bid on that project. I'm really happy to be able to do another auction this week. It's been a while since I've done an auction for the Make-A-Wish Foundation because it, well, I've been making a lot of big stuff. It's kind of hard to to ship an Adirondack chair, you know. <laughs> oh, and Lainey just posted the winners to the Whirly Gig Wars. If you participated in Whirly Gig Wars this year, there were 43 entries. They were really good. That's, what people are doing with Whirly Gigs is, is incredible. It is really, over these past couple of years that we've, four years that we've been doing this, the level of skill has just really gone up. Thank you all again for entering and we were able to raise, I think it was over $1,200 for Make-A-Wish Foundation. We're raising a lot of money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Thank you all and thank you Lainey for spearheading this uh, event because I just, I don't have a lot of time anymore. You know what I'm going to start doing today? I'm going to start drawing up plans, sketch up plans for the TARDIS. I'm going to make a full-size TARDIS, man. <laughs> this is going to be cool. So the idea here is that I want to make the plans today, this weekend, and then start building it probably the week after next. But in two weeks from Friday will be when I'll shoot, I'll have the video out to coincide with the new season of Doctor Who starting. But I want the TARDIS to be simple enough that everybody can build. It's not going to be as good as a lot of people building. There's a lot of guys building TARDISes out there that are going to be way better than this one. But I want it simple enough that most people can build if they want. And I want it to be easily 
taken apart so that I can move it from place to place and, and take a picture of it in all sorts of strange locations. I think that would be really fun. And I want to thank everybody who's been sending me info and helping me out uh, trying to figure out how to build this TARDIS. I really, I don't think I could have done this without you. Thanks a bunch, everybody. I don't know what next week's project is going to be, but don't forget the TARDIS in two weeks. And I'll talk to you later.